The good news is there is another choice. It is a distinctly American choice. It's this one. It's the Blaze, made by Americans in America for America. We actually like America. I know it's not very popular right now to like America or the Constitution, but we do. More importantly, we have a bias that holds people that disagree with each other together, and that is the Constitution of the United States. It's not Sharia law, thank God, but that Constitution requires me and this network to not ever, ever have stamped on our birth certificate at the blaze, I killed another network because they disagreed with this network. It requires me, unfortunately, to say that Al Jazeera has a right to be heard and to be seen in this country. It has a right to be carried on cable companies. But so does this network. I, um, I won't do to Al Jazeera what they did to the BBC. I have confidence in the Constitution, and I know the Constitution and the free American people will always win over Al Jazeera and Sharia law and terror. But with that, we have to go in with our eyes wide open. There is an alternative to the network that demonizes America and Israel and the Jewish people and supports jihad, sometimes, many times, literally. There is a network that promotes faith, hope, and charity a network that stands with the people of Israel, not against them, a network that believes that love, not jihad, is the most powerful weapon ever created. And there is a network that is not subservient to outside forces. That network is the blaze. I have no corporate masters. The power behind the blaze is me. You know who I am. My life is an open book. You don't like me? That's cool. You do? That's cool. Whatever. That's it. It's me and you. I grew up working in my dad's bakery and in the summers on my grandfather's farm. They taught me the value of hard work, honesty, and decency. My father working in his bakery, because sometimes I would have to go work the front counter in the cash register, and he taught me how to look a man in the eye. It's strange because my little town of Mount Vernon, when we were growing up, was dying. The mall had just moved in, and my folks did everything they could to wake up the town and say, look, this isn't going to be good, and you're never going to stop the mall. You just have to change what you're doing, and you have to adapt. Otherwise, our town's going to die. I find it more than ironic that I am repeating my father's life just on a little bit of a larger scale. Here I am, running a small business, and not our town but our country is dying and I'm saying the same thing it, it, it can survive and you'll never put the other out of business but you can survive and actually thrive if you just go in with your eyes wide open I know small businesses I know how important they are to the success of our country that's why I started 1791 that's why I started the marketplace that's why I started this small company it's why we're innovating our commercial presentation it's why I moved to Texas I'm the power behind the blaze. Not everybody here that works here agrees with me. I don't expect them to. There is no litmus test. If you believe in the Constitution, great, come on in. We believe in real freedom for mankind. We believe in the Constitution, and it tells us more voices, not less. And we will never attempt to snuff out another voice because we're afraid they might win. But that means that we have to work harder. That means that I have to ask you tonight to call your cable operator. Do not ever tell them to drop Al Jazeera. Just tell them, okay, we, we see what you've put on. That's cool. We would like the American channel. We would like the channel where the truth resides, the blaze. I ask you to make that call now.